Once upon a time. G'day. Today I've come to do a quick little service on the composting toilet in this bush shack. It's a really simple little batch system, so it should be really quick, easy job. Standard procedure with a batch style composting toilet, we're gonna pull out the in-service chamber, we'll disconnect the vent pipe, disconnect the excess liquid pipe, we can pull that chamber out, put a lid on it, and then we can put the other one in. And then we're going to take this chamber out the back where there's some other compost chambers in different stages of breakdown. Um, so this will be set aside and the next one brought in underneath. Okay, here we've got the three different compost chambers and they're all at different stages of breakdown. So this one here that we've just pulled out is obviously um, quite fresh and is only just beginning that breakdown process. This one here came out about six months ago, so it's partially broken down. And then this one here has been composting for about 12 months. So this one here is ready to be emptied, so we can empty it out and then use the new empty chamber back in underneath the toilet pedestal. Um, there's different things that people use the compost for. Uh, you know, it really depends on your situation and what your setup is. Some people use the compost as a fertiliser for fruit trees, stuff like that. In this case here, this is a bush block. There's no real ornamental gardens or anything like that. So we're just going to bury the compost in a hole. Okay, all done. Now, now that we're finished with the composting toilet, I wanted to also show you the grey water. It's always a really common question. Um, I'm using a composting toilet, but what do I do with my grey water? It's gonna vary from site to site, it varies from situation to situation, and there's definitely no one size fits all. Um, in this situation here, we've got a little uh, bush cabin. They didn't actually have much need for the grey water as an irrigation source. So it's basically gone to an absorption trench. So the grey water comes from the house and down into this one tank here. Um, and being at this site here has quite a high groundwater table, we had to put in a pump well as well. So the grey water runs into the tank and then overflows into a little sump well and then gets pumped to this mound here. So the grey water is basically just running into trenches in the ground. This system here um, needed to get approval from local government, so we've designed it to Australian standards. It's a really simple system and it can apply to basically any site all across Australia. Australian standards is a well-recognised document Australia-wide. Um, if you are building and putting in a composting toilet and need something for your grey water and you're needing to comply with government regulations, feel free to get in touch with myself or Crew at Water Wally and we can send you a set of template plans. It's called the Greater Green System. It's basically just a template. It's based on the Australian standards um, and it's a grey water dispersal system. Different from a grey water diversion or reuse system, but it's the sort of system that you will need for your local government approval. Carry on.